Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source, and we're having a good week, man. We swept Monday night football, we swept Thursday night football, we swept Friday night college football, and we're having a pretty solid day in college football Saturday so far. Yeah, things are good. I'm in high spirits, uh, but let's put it to the side. We got NFL here. Giants first Panthers. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. Hey, get the sewers. All right, Carolina on the road at the Meadowlands here. The line opened up Giants minus two and a half. Early action pretty much split right down the middle. In fact, it is split exactly 50-50 as of Tuesday morning. Yo, check this out though. So the books have been taking Carolina Panthers money all week um, and the line's responding to it. Drops from two and a half. We're all the way down to Giants minus one as of late Saturday night. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the model, the line for this game should be New York Giants minus 6.25. Heavy lean on the G-men there. All right, let's break down this matchup real quick and we'll start with the Giants run defense. Wanna hear some PFF rankings for the Giants in week one? Overall run defense efficiency, seventh in the NFL, the Giants are. Tackling rating, second in the NFL. Yes, the New York Giants. Tennessee ran the ball 26 times for just 93 total yards rushing as a team, just 3.6 yards a carry. And that was at home in Nashville too. This Giants defense looking like it's not gonna get pushed around this season. Now the Giants were definitely fortunate to be playing a team that's so heavily reliant on their running back and doesn't have much of a passing threat in Ryan Tannehill, especially with AJ Brown gone. But wait, who do they have this week? Oh yeah, another team that's heavily reliant on their running back and doesn't have much of a passing threat. Gotta love that matchup if you're a Giants fan or a Giants better. Also, it's an awesome week for Kayvon Thibodeau to make his Giants debut. Home opener, Giants are 1-0. The Meadowlands is gonna be rocking. That place is just gonna be rumbling for real. Um, and it's against Baker Mayfield, who's one of the most sacked quarterbacks in the NFL since 2018. But not only has Baker had the tendency to hold on to the ball too long, but he's also had 48 passes tipped or batted down since 2018, which leads the NFL in that time span. The Giants adding another crazy athlete, huge pass rusher on the edge in Thibodeau is the last thing Baker Mayfield needs to see right now. Now, as far as Carolina's defense goes, obviously last week they got run all over by Nick Chubb. That's not news. We've all seen the box score. But what really shocked me was when I saw 18 missed tackles in the game for the Panthers. Now, if this was last year, I'd be like, yo, don't worry, Carolina. You got the Giants and they have no running game whatsoever. That was Nick Chubb. This is the Giants. But wait, hold up. Did you see Saquon Barkley last week? 164 yards and a touchdown on just 18 carries. I can only see his workload increasing in week two. Especially with the Giants watching all this film of the Carolina Panthers just getting steamrolled by Chubb and missing all these tackles. They're definitely licking their chops like, oh yeah, Saquon's about to rush for 200. When I first started capping this game at first glance, I honestly thought it was a coin flip. I really didn't know which side I was gonna be on. But the more I looked into it, the more I was drawn to the Giants. And now I'm really confident in this one. I'm on the G-men here. Give me the Giants minus one. I like this one. This is probably going to make the top seven bets. If anything changes with this bet, I'll let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested in that. Uh, also, if you want the final ticket, which has the bet of the day, the two underdogs of the day, three, uh, two parlays, and the top seven bets, as well as all the whole team's pick for every single game, uh, make sure you go to kylecrims.com or download the Sauce Network app. NFL Week 2, Sunday. Everyone enjoy your day. Bet responsibly. But let's make some money. I'll talk to you on Twitter.